Hello everyone, and welcome to DevWave Diaries. Here, we dive into the latest web development trends and coding techniques. If you're passionate about tech and eager to learn, you're in the right place. First, let's start with the HTML structure. We need to create a div element with a class named container. Inside this div, we'll add a button element with the ID glow and the text submit. This HTML code forms the basic structure we need for our project. Next, we'll move on to the CSS styling. Begin by setting up a CSS boilerplate. This includes resetting the default margin and padding with margin, zero, padding, zero, and applying box sizing, border box, to ensure that padding and border are included in the element's total width and height. Now, let's style the HTML and body elements. Set their width and height to 100% so they cover the entire viewport. The background color is set to black using background, black, and the font is set to a sans serif typeface for a clean, modern look. Moving on to the container div that we created earlier, apply the following styles. Set its width to 100% to fill the viewport horizontally. Set its height to 100 dvh, which stands for 100% of the dynamic viewport height. This ensures that the div will always cover the full height of the viewport, even if the viewport size changes. Use display, flex, to enable flexbox layout, which allows us to easily center the contents. Align the items both horizontally and vertically with justify content, center, and align items, center. This will center the button inside the container div. Next, let's style the button we created earlier with the ID glow. We'll add some specific styles to make it look great. Add padding, 1rem 2rem, to give the button some space inside it, with 1rem of padding on the top and bottom, and 2rem on the left and right. Set font size, 1.2rem, to make the text inside the button slightly larger and more readable. Apply a dark background color with background, hashtag 0a2437, for a stylish, deep blue hue. Use text transform, uppercase, to make the button text appear in uppercase letters, adding a bold, attention-grabbing effect. Set border radius, 5px, to round the corners of the button, giving it a smooth, modern look. Set color, white, to make the text stand out against the dark background. Now let's open the browser and now we have to. Remove the default border with border, none, to ensure a clean, borderless appearance. Add cursor, pointer, so that the cursor changes to a pointer when hovering over the button, indicating that it is clickable. Apply transition, 0.5 second, to add a smooth transition effect that lasts half a second. This ensures that any changes to the button's appearance, such as color or size, will animate gradually, creating a more polished user experience. Now it's time to add a glowing hover effect to the button. Here's how to do it. Start by targeting the button when it's hovered over by using the selector hashtag glow hover. Set color, black, to change the text color to black when hovered. Add transition delay, 0.3 second, to introduce a slight delay before the color transition occurs. This creates a smooth effect where the color change happens after a short pause. Also, set background, white, to change the button's background color to white on hover. Now let's open the browser again as you can see we only created the hover effect. To create the glowing effect, add box shadow, 0010px white, 0040px white, 0080px white. This will add multiple layers of white shadow around the button, giving it a bright, glowing appearance. Open the browser and hover over the button with your mouse pointer. You should see the button change to a white background with black text and a bright white glow around it. When you move the mouse pointer away, the button's color will revert after a 0.3 second delay, creating a visually appealing effect. Next, let's add some more buttons to our layout. First of all let's go to HTML file. In the HTML code, select the existing button element. Press Shift plus Ctrl plus down arrow to copy and create additional buttons. This action will duplicate the button, so you'll end up with three buttons in total. To ensure there is some distance between each button, go to the container div element in your CSS. Add gap, 1rem, to create a 1rem space between the buttons. This gap will be evenly distributed, giving a tidy and organized appearance to the buttons. Open the browser to see how the buttons look with the added spacing. You should notice that the buttons are now spaced out evenly, enhancing the layout and making it visually appealing. Now, let's style the second button to have a yellow glowing effect on hover. Use the CSS selector hashtag glow, nth child, to hover to target the second button when it is hovered over. Set background, yellow, to change the button's background color to yellow on hover. Copy and paste the previous box shadow property, which creates the glowing effect. Select the box shadow property and change the color values from white to yellow. To do this, press Ctrl plus D three times to select all instances of the color in the box shadow property, then change them to yellow. Open the browser and hover over the second button. You should see it glow with a bright yellow color, creating a vibrant and eye-catching effect. Now, let's style the third button to have a blue glowing effect on hover. First, start by copying the hover styles from the second button. To do this efficiently, select the existing button's hover styles, then press Shift plus Ctrl plus down arrow to duplicate the styles for the third button. Update the color values in the box shadow and background property. Press Ctrl plus D four times to select all instances of the yellow color in the box shadow property, then change them to blue. Add color, white, to the hover styles to ensure that the text color of the third button is white. Open the browser and hover over the third button. You should see it glow with a vibrant blue color, creating a striking and engaging effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.